This Mobile Geeks video is powered by ASUS. Hi guys, Asha from Mobile Geeks here. It's day one of IDF 2015 here in beautiful San Francisco. And today, this keynote was all about the WheelSense technology. And what we're about to see right now is um, the WheelSense camera in a smartphone, or let's say a fabric form factor because this is a six inch display. Yeah, so this is really exciting for us. We are integrating Intel RealSense cameras into a six inch phablet form factor, uh, along with the, the Google Tango sensors. So what we have is mounted on a landscape fashion, this entire camera array on the back of a phone. But otherwise, it looks pretty much like a normal phone. Absolutely. Great, so what this device is really good at is tracking users' motion and 3D space. So let me give you a quick demo of what I mean. Great, made. let's do that. Yeah, so uh, let me launch the, this is an odometry application. Okay. And once it's coming up, you can kind of see um, in the scene, these are the, these green dots. And what these are are feature points being tracked, and this is representative of the underlying computer vision algorithms running. And this, along with the accelerometer and gyro data in the mobile phone, gives us uh, a rich sensor stack that we can do things like track the user's movement. Okay. So if you see the device, I can move it left and right, and you can see on the screen, I'm up and down. In fact, I can draw a big circle with this device. You can see it coming up. Uh, in fact, you can walk all over Moscone Center, okay. and your distance will be tra uh, it will be you know tracked with really really high precision. Yeah, yeah. So how is this useful? Well, you can build maps this okay. way, right? Uh, but it also is useful for entertainment. You can augment your existing gameplay with motion in the physical world. So right. this is just a sample game. I'm shooting at killer robots, uh, but this game requires me to step forward yeah. to move the controls and to move on the right, to move left, to see, you know, the robots coming over to me. So I'm shooting at robots, I'm shooting at robots, but I need to, I need to move my device to shoot. I need to move forward and move backwards. So that's one way in which we're, you know, um, augmenting the, the existing games and other experiences. Right. So what, a, what we also saw on the, um, on the stage during the keynote was you can also do like real-time 3D scanning. Sure. Is also working with that device? Yes, absolutely. So let me show you that. So let me, uh, let me actually scan this area that we're in. Okay, let's do that. So give me a second here. So I'm bringing up this meshing capability. Um, adjusting a couple of parameters. Okay. Uh, so this is just the default debug application and the Tango stack. So let me step a little bit this way. Okay, so I've started. Uh, hold on a second for it to come up. Okay, so now you can see the scene. I'm meshing, I'm meshing, I'm meshing. There's this environment. I'm gonna get this gentleman in, in the scene as he's <laughs> looking at this camera. And my cable won't allow me to get any, go any further but I can capture the scene. Let me go ahead and pause it. You can see the scene I've captured. Um, wow. These two gentlemen here. Um, <laughs> I can pan the camera around and you can see I've created a 3D reconstruction of the space. This is absolutely amazing. Of course, this is like an early prototype that it you're is. showing right now, but you it is already a developer's kit that you're sending out to your developers? Yeah, absolutely. We're, we are targeting a release of this dev kit, hopefully before the end of 2015. So this is a first look at the WheelSense technology now coming onto a fabric form factor. A smartphone with a six inch screen, now with the WheelSense 3D camera. I think it's pretty awesome. If you have any questions, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching. Bye.